to share with you. Cinq choses que je voudrais partager avec vous. Number one. La première des choses. As you honor men and fear fear men, fear God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. It is the fear of God that will make you whenever you want to do a thing you think in your heart somebody is looking at me. Somebody is looking at me. The fear of God. Fear God. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. Number two. It's a message to the youth. We are in a world where everybody wants to make money by all costs. I'm not fighting against ambition, but inordinate ambition. When there is a desire to make money by crook and hook method, we're not go far. We are in a generation where young men don't want to work, but they want to get money from the backside. By Yahoo, Yahoo, by Yahoo plus, by manipulation, by criminality. Job said, all the days of my life, I will wait until my change comes. I will wait. Where God say you will get to, you are going to get there. We have a generation of youth that don't want to work, that want to get money by all means. Go further. One of the greatest reasons why sometimes our youth are distracted. The government has to do a lot to engage the youth. Job creations is very important. I don't see any plan and any program the government will do if youth are excluded is a time bomb of catastrophe for the future. Youth must be engaged and, and as much as we have to be engaging the youth, there must be willingness. And let me take this to the family front. You see, mothers, when your daughter that is 13 years dress half naked and you don't caution her, you are bringing nuisance that will affect the society. Fathers, when your young child of 12 is already smoking cigarette and you are the one sending him to buy cigarette, you are bringing a rascal that will soon affect the society. There is a participation that every one of us must be involved. Unchangeable changer. He remains unchangeable, but he changes things. Can I talk to everyone here that this country is in the hands of God and nobody can stop what God has programmed for Nigeria. Am I communicating? God has said yes for Nigeria. No man can say no. I have watched what we have survived in this country. And I imagine how God has kept this country. There are countries that have not gone through 10% of what Nigeria have gone through. And there are no more. But there is a mighty hand that is holding this country. It's beyond our politicians. It's beyond our leader. That's why I know Nigeria is a project of God. Can I pray for you? You are God's hand made. Nobody can stop your destiny. Nobody can stop your destiny. Nobody can stop your destiny. I prophesy. What stop your father will not stop you. What stop your mother will not stop you. What made others to fall will not make you to fall. I prophesy. In less than 24 hours, those that plot your death will die your death.